In Auckland tonight, headman David Byrne talked to Dylan Tate about Rock's latest casualty. In times when it's hard to be weird, David Byrne manages to stand out. But the schizoid live wire David Byrne of Psycho Killer has gone on permanent vacation, along with his old band called Talking Heads. Talking Heads were called everything. Art rock, studied white dance, pilfered ethnic head game. Quite simply, Talking Heads made classical American pop rock. They seemed permanent. In the end, they didn't burn out, just sort of rusted away. It could have been a lot worse. We could have uh, gone on for years and made uh, terrible records and kind of uh, said nasty things about one another in the press for years and years. But uh, we kind of stopped before it really got too far along that, along that, to, in that direction. So that was good. I think things just kind of run their course. Uh, some people manage to drag it out a bit longer, but I think we managed to say, well, this is sort of its its day. Let's move on to something else. For David Byrne, it's a chance to go solo. And for the man who studied conceptual art and gets relaxation in listening to Willie Nelson, he's now in complete control. And that includes the videos for his new solo album. Headman David Burns already got Rock's Distinguished Service Medal for innovative video work. Two of his clips are in the Museum of Modern Art's permanent collection in New York. I had a, the idea and kind of storyboarded it out, you know, did cartoons and things of the, the, pretty much the whole song, and then took it to them and said, can you do this sort of thing? And they said, yeah, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can't do this, but we can do this other thing that you've never seen before that maybe you could use instead. So it was a bit of that, a bit of uh, substituting some of their ideas for some of mine. Do you ever yourself feel restrained, you know, within the so-called parameters of, of pop music? In many ways, some people might see pop music as trash, and you've always struck me, again, from a distance, as a rather cerebral sort of person. Yeah, I've always thought, it, it always gave me a lot of excitement. And I thought there was, it was always it was always filled with uh, loads of stuff from when I, you know, when I was growing up listening to it. I thought it was always great. And I, I never I never kind of looked down on it. I always thought it was it was a, it was a great thing. Not not limiting in any way. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's part of the that's part of the thing of it. Former talking head David Byrne showing his feet are no closer to planet Earth.